Auto cover crash counter fundamental concept in self-protection self-defense as old as time the Romans used this stuff um, in a reactive sense I've been attacked someone's gonna hit me someone's grabbing me whatever I need to cover I need to cover myself somehow cover my head cover my primary targets I don't want to get knocked out I don't want to get hit again uh, this is the first thing first most fundamental thing is cover myself what the hell orient it and the chaos stop myself getting hurt anymore crash if I'm in this situation probably I've got no way out and if I do have a way out trying to get out is now perilous because somebody's hitting me and grabbing at me I can't really get away all I'm doing is giving them space to hit me again and what I really don't need is to be on the end of their leverage to be on the end of their power so I can't move backwards got no body weight I'm likely to fall over they're gonna pursue me and attack me you know there are variations on this if I'm skilled I know what I'm doing I might be able to switch out to the side at this point but generally speaking the easiest way to shut somebody down who's attacking you is not to move away it's to crash into them is I crash so I'm covered then crash into their space and what that does is it puts me inside the arc of their punching they can no longer punch me because I'm right up here into their space so at least I've stopped them being able to hit me it's gonna be wrestling they're gonna be able to grab me and pull up me but they can't hit me anymore counter once I've crashed I'm in close now it's a fight bought myself a few beats but now I am in the fight I'm right up there with them now I've got to count and I've got to start fighting cover crash counter so that's it in a reactive sense in a proactive sense we can combine some of these concepts things like the spike elbow I'm covering and I'm crashing and I'm countering all at the same time so my cover and my crash and my counter are the same thing. I'm driving my elbow into that person. That's also covering me and crashing my body weight into that space. Similarly stuff like slamming. I slam towards somebody, slamming towards somebody's face for instance. These arms are coming up to protect me and cover me. As I step into their punching arc, I'm taking myself away from the end of their leverage and I'm attacking them going straight into their face so we combine these things when we're proactive cover crash counter become the same thing often they're coupled with things like a fence or a structure like spear from a fence a de-escalating fence or a fence where I'm protecting my reactionary gap I can then go into some form of control or covering position which becomes itself then a crash and a counter I'm driving into somebody's neck space with this forearm for instance or in terms of a boxing cover I go from here into a into a headbutt into this space here I've covered myself crashed and countered I mean this is the same thing Roman army goes north into Europe You've got these big guys big swords and axes boom, much bigger than the Roman soldier Roman soldier spear short sword crash into that space into the arc of the attack use that short sword inside that's the key to the Roman success against much bigger people they're covering crashing and countering it's an age-old principle but yes of all things within self-defense and self-protection protect your reactionary gap fence if you can awareness but cover crash counter in however form it presents itself whether it's reactive or proactive is perhaps the fundamental concept in self-protection in, in, in active self-defense that once you've gone to that stage of conflict fighting cover crash counter is what you're thinking about and you can repeat cover crash counter and repeat if need be